Hello, in this video I want to share my knowledge about ebook creation, specifically about ebook creation for Amazon, for Amazon Kindle. For all of you who don't like videos so much, here's the textual version of everything that I'm going to explain from now on. I am converting with Calibre. Calibre, I'm not sure about the pronunciation. And let's scroll down a little bit so you see the known problems that I had. If you know how to fix them, please let me know. One problem is the automatic heading numbering, like 2.3.4. I couldn't get it work to say 2.3.4 chapter name. It only said 2.3.4 or only the chapter name, but not both. So in the end, I decided to just make the numbering per hand myself. And yeah, if you know, it should work somehow because it works either way. So it should work both ways. If you know how to fix that, please let me know. Also check the comments. If somebody told me how I do it, I will put it in the description so check the description and the next thing is after you did the conversion with Calibre like I do then you don't have a title the cover picture when you have the tile view on the Kindle and this problem might be solved if you sell the book by Amazon because regarding to mobileread.com this might be a problem on Amazon's side to force people buying books on Amazon to have the cover images but I don't know also here, if you know any solution, please let me know. Okay, next thing I have to talk about is why do I not use the Kindle Create? And the reason is I don't like to be stuck with that. If there's something the Kindle Create cannot do, then you simply cannot do it. You cannot work around it. And with Calibre, you can kind of tweak it in the end. And for this specific book that I'm uh, working on here, I have some code passages within a paragraph. So I have different fonts I have a usual font and like the mono font, like Korean new and the Kindle create could not manage to mix them up. Everything was just the usual font. So the code was kind of hard to read. Okay. But that being said, let's start doing all that stuff. I'm writing my book with ODT and I have special stuff like footnotes. Um, and no, it's not my book. Sorry. Okay. First of all, you import your book. In my case, no, I'm not Chris Elverberg. I'm just having this book and this is just what I'm doing. Although the book is awesome. Okay, so you convert the book. Sorry for that. I hate people who do mistakes on the videos. Then you change it to AZVW3 because you want Kindle output. You set your cover image, you set all this stuff. And then let's get to work. First of all, you want a proper table of content. So you go into the table of content and you see level one, two, three in here. And you want to add this one this one and this one the slash 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 h colon just tells him search for h3 like in html if you don't know html don't worry just put that in and that will take your header properly except of if you have the automatic numbering next thing you might want to do is manually fine tune because at least on my Kindle, the level three is not shown in the table of contents only until level two is shown. And uh, with the tweaking at the end, you can kind of flatten everything. I will show you later. Oh, next thing for me is repairing footnotes. I go into search and replace and I search for this and I replace with this. Why do I do this? Um, I don't want to show you specifically when you have footnotes on the Kindle, they kind of look like this when you open the footnote. But if you don't open the whole footnotes page, but instead get the footnote in the bottom or in the middle of the screen, depending on what version you're using, there might be a new line here in the middle here might be a new line, this new line. I don't know why this is probably a mistake from Calibre when they are creating the, the AZW3 file. But no matter whose fault it is, uh, this is the way how you get through it. Otherwise, the new line will be shown. And so the this bracket will be like in the next line, which looks a little bit silly. And of course, you want to add the stuff after you put it in, typed in here. OK, I don't have any other special settings. So let's hit OK and start for the creation. Sorry, wait for the creation. What is start for the creation? Okay, the creation is finished. So this is the table of content and we are tweaking it now. Uh, let's check it out. Let's open chapter two flex and 
the problem is that this level is not going to be shown in the table of contents on the Kindle. So what we want to do to make it be shown, we click it, we have the same problem in chapter three, and we say flatten this entry. And we go to chapter two and flatten this entry. And then you can see because now it's only two levels. You have this level and this level. This will be, this makes everything be shown on the Kindle. In this special case in chapter one, we only have one level more, so that's fine. So depending on how many levels you use, this is the way to go. And just hit OK if you're finished or not. And there you go, that's it. Maybe a side note at the end, I told you that the cover will not be shown on the Kindle when you have the like the tile view, but the cover is shown when you open the book. So this is what Calibre does properly, so that the title page is the real title picture. So in this case, it's this picture. Okay, thank you very much. Hard to talk. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, comments, put them in the comments. Check out the video description for any updates on the video. And have fun creating your ebook.